going to be my last update on my Exsanguinate Spellslinger Ascendant um, until I actually can put together a full build guide. Let me go into things that have changed here. First thing I got was I got a shield. Shield plus one physical spell skill gems and spell damage on it. Suffixes don't really matter. Um, there was open prefix even for me to craft life. Spectacular. Huge shield. Big, big, big upgrade. So because my previous shield had intelligence on it, I had to replace my amulet. And this amulet came. It was an onyx amulet originally. Um, but it had T1 intelligence roll on it. So I was able to throw that in and I anointed it. And eventually took a gamble on a T1 talisman and hit lightning damage. Could have hit spell damage or physical damage, and that would have been great. Um, but since I corrupted this Onyx Inuit, I had to remove a life node to put up into here the trickery, which I then got that life node back when I hit level 93. Um, okay, next. I up also upgraded my wand. Um, I took the highest level imbued wand I had at the time, spammed it with um, spell damage essences until I hit something good. When it, um, hybrid spell damage, open prefix with cast speed. Fire res is cool. I might be able to remove that somewhere else now. Ooh, actually, I can't. I can turn this into fire and chaos. Easy. I'll do that right now. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Okay. So, yep. That's that's all the changes on the character. Um, yeah. I'm going to show how it's currently performing an ultimatum. So, also, like, I am swapping out chain when needed for control destruction, which is requiring me to gym swap because I'm trying to level the control destruction. Um, this wouldn't work if I was use, wasn't using a tabula. So, um, I could be swapping in swift affliction instead, but that's fine. This is a T-16 map. I think it's got like temp chains on it. It's the only thing that's kind of annoying. It's corrupted though, so. Rare is a breath of living air. Chaos damage really doesn't hurt me at all. Night's madness drains away all hope. But without without using chain, like this is ultimatums are not doable on this build. Like I have to have chain in for clear. But for something like a Cirrus, which I'm gonna show right after this, um, it's completely fine to drop the chain for something else. By something there, uh, you can take less into reach. Your reach exceeds your grasp. Mm, okay. Ruin arrives suddenly. Got it. Hey, bunch of Parandis coins. We shall meet again. Like the worst thing. Imagine. 
So, let me go into here. I show and tell stuff. Um, got these from Cirrus. I got a divergent withering step from a blueprint. Um, uh, chance to not remove, um, elusive on skill use on this quality, which is awesome. Um, I have an item level 85 redeemer two stone. It was very cool. I dropped a barracks for Sprite. Um, I think I have a barracks pass, but I do not have a barracks script, so I can't make a taming. Um, but it's the first time I've ever seen one of these drop on the ground. And the only other thing, let's see, I have five linked this. Like, myself, I do have a, um, Harvest Craft saved up for a five link, but I was hoping for a six. And I got an inscribed ultimatum that will turn a Beano's kitchen knife into Skyforth. Which... That'll be awesome if I happen upon one of those. So, when I was crafting this wand, I was wondering about something, and I went to Act 1 and I picked up a level 13 carved wand. Now, I did some light research here. And with a level 13 wand, you, I can still hit plus 1 fizz spell skill gems, and I can hit a higher physical damage over time multiplier than I can craft. And if I hit those two things, I'll spin, I'd spin the exalt on the spell damage craft. And there you go. Huge. Easy. So I was just wondering, okay, what is, what is it going to take to hit that? Hit both of those rolls on this? Like, it's still like 109 tries with Jagged Fossils. Because it can roll, um, attack mods on it, which kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, it's hard to hit both of them, but doing it with chaos is just absurd. It's not going to happen. It's really easy to alt spam and hit the plus one fizz. And I actually used the 15 Jagged Fossils I had and hit plus one Fizz Spell Gems twice, um, three times across all those. But I didn't have anything I could really work with. So it's also really possible, though, that I'm going to save this wand and you start using Fizz um, what are they, Harvest Crafts on the wand to try and hit the um, rolls I want. Um, uh, 35 tries of Aetheric Corroded Jagged. I bet four socket, probably something better. Throw in a faceted onto that, probably. Is the play. That gets expensive and absurd, though. But I think I might be able to finally hit something with, um, that. Shuddering. Over the faceted. 13 tries. Etheric, Corroded, Jagged, Shuddering. And I, I also, like, looked it up. I used a... I got a carved wand because of the attack speed on it. Um, the 1.5, like an imbued wand. But online, in Ultimatum League right now, there's two of them. With um, sp any amount of spell damage, plus one Fizz Gems, and Fizz Dot Multi. One for 10x and one for 15x. And like, I I could hit that pretty easily. Um, if I search any, like they exist. But it, the league's kind of dead at the time of this recording. And I could also, like if I was in Trade League, Plus two duration gems tabula for 40 chaos. Plus two skill gem levels on tabula. Like, th there's a lot of damage potential just like at my fingertips. And because I'm playing an SSF, I, I just don't have that. So, like, I could easily, like, big up the damage. Another thing I really could do is I like, ditch the amulet, get a malevolence, all's up right, just using add malevolence, in, and that gives me increased skill effect duration and damage over time and then gives me the dot multi watcher's eye possibility 
So, yeah, the, like the damage potential is here. No dot multi on my gloves. Gloves are probably my weakest piece of gear other than this ring. But yeah, um, like I said, that's going to be the last update on this character. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be leveling Ice Spear. The goal is to try and um, self-cast Ice Spear. Um, that's going to require a absurd amount of cast speed. And I'm not sure, like, if I want to go with an assassin or, like, the massive crit multi and elusive. Or if I want to go something like Inquisitor. But you don't, like, the idea is you're not nearby with it. But fanaticism gives 75% more cast speed. So there's potential there for the self-cast ice spear, but I have to attack. So, hmm, yeah. The possibility. And like in this case, like, I don't know, I'd want profane wands probably. I don't know. Um, it's going to be Ice Spear, Avatar of Fire, um, like full fire conversion that can still freeze is what we're, what we're doing. It might work. It might not. We'll try. Anyways, that's going to be it for me. Um, thanks for watching, and here's my uh, first serious kill in like two months. Enjoy. All right, I'm about to enter the last phase of my first serious fight on this run, Nessusef. I haven't done this fight in like two months, so hopefully this goes okay. Uh, first phases were easy, but that's the nature of this fight. And I do have a Corrupting Blood immunity. Waste in the void sphere. With all the aura effect and stuff I have on the tree, like, it feels really noticeable. Like, the longer I stay near a boss, the more damage it's really taking. Really? He teleported three times in a row. What is that?
Gold? Oh, come on. Okay. Well. That's sad. He, he didn't follow a pattern any time. Any, like, there was not any cycle through everything that he followed a pattern. The crazy thing is, I might have survived through the beam, given that I have corrupting blood immunity. Oh. Okay. I died twice by flame dashing into the storm. Sad. Please. Awaken blasphemy. Rider Pope. Okay. Yay. Sirius is dead. And I made it to the cruise shores. Right on. 